Uh, so you're going to Worlds, of course. Um, what are you aiming to achieve at Worlds uh, this year? I mean, you've taken it last year. Right. Are you just planning to take it, or is there more that you try to do? So yeah, I, um, I mean, I just I'm just gonna try and do my best, like put on a good like last year, like. Like I know some people are like, oh, I want to make this really technical freestyle, or they want to make this like really like performance gear freestyle. Okay. And last and like for this year, I'm, I kind of want to just like, like like if you look at my freestyle last year, like my my mindset kind of going into that was just like I just want to put on like a good performance, you know, or not a good performance. I mean, I just want to do a good freestyle. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Like performance tricks, like it all matters, of course, but like overall, I just want it to like seem like a good freestyle. Okay. So that's what kind of what I'm aiming at for this year, and I kind of want to just like, yeah, that's. Cool. How has life changed after winning Worlds? So, I guess mostly my life just changed in regards to like how yo-yo has changed in my life, if that makes right. sense. So, because yeah, now I'm kind sense, of... But... <laughs> <laughs> I think it makes sense. Like, okay. Yo-yo okay. in my life changed, right? So, okay. All right, okay. So, mostly it's just like, now when I'm like thinking about freestyles and looking at freestyles, I'm thinking about how I can possibly like... Like I'm, I'm, I, I want to be more like experimental with freestyles, if that makes okay. sense. To see how far you could push it. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. yeah. Like in terms of tricks or songs or things like that. And then it also, I mean, it also opens up some opportunities. Like now I'm here in China doing this, so like, okay. you know, things like that. But in, as far as like my regular life, you know, I still just kind of like go to school. You know, do you like wake up every morning. You know, do the basic routine stuff. Okay. So that's still kind of the same. But how do you, like, I mean, we talk about worlds, right? How do you practice for worlds? Right, so I know a lot of people that will specifically practice like individual tricks. Like, you were asking right. about this, and like for me, like it doesn't really, it's not that helpful. Like, I feel like it's like, well, I'm just casually like doing my tricks to music, right? Um, I feel like it's like I can hit them fairly well, sure. but when it gets hard is when I actually like make a routine and put them in this routine and have to do them like this specific way, right? Okay. So if I just practice the individual tricks, you know, I could probably like hit them like fairly easily, but then when I have to do in the routine, suddenly like every little thing becomes like way harder, you know what I mean? Because so you have like, to hit the music and yeah, one comes after the other. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's like for me, like I, I can't practice any other way because it's just not helpful for me. So, from the, so if you have two hours of time to practice, Right. From the get go, it's just gonna be like just all freestyle. Yeah, just pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many hours do you practice a day? Um, so on a good day. On a good on day. On a good day. I mean, it really varies. Like, some like I probably don't practice as much as like some people, but like for like the competitions, if I can, even if it's just like an hour, if I could just get in an hour each day, like for me, it's like about consistency. Right. Like if I can get like a certain X number of freestyles each day, you know what I mean? Like going up through contests and that's way more efficient than say like suddenly doing like nothing for a week and then like a bunch of freestyles and nothing, you know what I mean? Like it just sure. has to be this like consistent thing. So okay. I get this habit and that's usually- So like, let's talk about the world's last year then. If that, if that works, if whatever you did last year worked, you know, right. what was it like? Was it like, like 10 runs a day, uh, 50 runs yeah, a day? Yeah, it was anywhere from like five to like 20 runs a day, probably okay. like a couple months out. So so yeah. for for players coming up, you would say that is a, that's a good way to get your, yeah, your freestyle like consistency, down. Yeah, Okay. What do you do outside of, what do you do outside of yo-yos? So this past year, I've just kind of been busy with school, so, but when I've gotten some downtime, I've actually been learning, uh, you know that, that Crazy board game Go or Baduk or Weichi or whatever you wherever, right. whatever you call it. The Japanese one. From. Yeah, yeah. Black the and white. Chinese actually. Yeah, with the black and white stones. Oh so man. I've actually been learning this like really complex board game. Oh it was really man. Interesting, so that's a, I think that's a very dangerous tunnel to go down, right? Because like it can get you can get pretty hardcore. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Into it. Oh man, how did that start? How did you get into so, it? So I was actually at my grandparents like a year ago. I was at my grandparents' house. And then okay. my uncle was there, so it was pretty random. But he he's like always he's like always been really good at chess, right? And we we're just talking about board games and stuff. Okay. I'm like, oh yeah, don't you also know this like Asian board game or whatever? And he's like, oh yeah, go. So we started like kind of teaching him about the rules, kind of like running me through oh, it. Oh man, did you so, did you try did you try to beat him one game? Oh, I mean, I, I couldn't come close. Uh, not even close. Not last year. I mean, because I just learned the rules. And okay. The game is so hard to pick up. It's like yeah. so abstract. But then I came back next year and I beat him in a game. So, <laughs> so one year, him. one year of practice. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're pretty close. It's like I beat him, and then we played online like a week later, and then he beat me. So we're kind of like okay. So right now, if you play like 
best of seven, so first of four, you might go, what, four, three with him? Three, something, four? Yeah, something like that. It'd be close.